Over the last few decades, the waters off of Cape Cod have become one of the largest hotspots in the world for great white sharks. That's created some fear among beachgoers, but an opportunity for researchers and scientists. The middle of August marks the beginning of the end of summer for most of us. But the tranquility lapping the shores of Cape Cod this time of year means shark season is just getting started. Hey everyone, alrighty. As a recent college grad with an ecology degree, Luke Nelson floated into perhaps the perfect summer job. What's it like just being out here every day and kind of seeing, you know, these interactions happen? I think it's out, like it's, it's just incredible to be like at the scene of where this like intense predator prey interaction is happening. The 22 year old is spending his entire summer here off the coast of Chatham, Massachusetts, working for the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. On this day, we got on board with Nelson and headed out to see just what is swimming beneath the surface. Our first stop, the shark detection buoy. All righty. The key goes right in here. We do not have any sharks that are showing up this morning on our receiver. And there are now hundreds of these buoys across the East Coast. Researchers will tag a shark with a transmission device. If a shark swims within 500 meters of a buoy, activity is picked up and then recorded. It's a really great touch point. Maddie Poirier is a community educator at the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. So this is an area that we call South Shark Cove. Each time a shark is detected, it's plotted on this map. You can see that he's been detected in a lot of different places. Where you can see pictures of the shark, how far it is from shore, even the name it's been given by researchers. Growing up here, none of this existed when yeah. I was a kid. I mean, yeah. you just had no idea what was out there. No clue. And you swam anyway. <laughs> right. Cape Cod is one of the largest white shark hotspots in the world right now. Between 2015 and 2018, about 800 white sharks visited these waters. We can see individuals and where they are spending their time, which then can lead us to understanding why they're there. So why are sharks of all species flocking here? Scientists say warmer water fueled by climate change is part of the reason. The other we saw up close, seals, thousands of them, essentially a shark buffet. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there's a, there's a seal right there. In 1972, Congress signed the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which made it illegal to hunt seals. Then in 1997, it became illegal to catch sharks within 200 nautical miles off the shore of Massachusetts. As the seal populations have rebounded, great white sharks have followed. If we can learn more about like where they are in particular, some places more than others, that may help to inform some habits. Right. Do sharks get a bad rap sometimes? Sharks, I think it's this primal fear we have. That's John Chisholm, an adjunct scientist with the New England Aquarium. Chisholm manages an app called Sharktivity. It tracks shark sightings and buoy detections across the East Coast in real time, and then sends users push alerts about sharks to their phones, letting them know swimming at a certain beach is off limits. This year alone, the app has had 750,000 downloads. A lot of people, believe it or not, even with all the signage, weren't aware that you know the sharks were this close to the beach. All of this technology is giving researchers a better idea of just how many sharks may be out there and their habits, which helps to create better public awareness and public safety plans, especially when 5.23 million tourists flock to these shores each summer. It's a data point, you know, you're, it's citizen science, as we like to call it. And then when we get so many of those, we can, you know, look at patterns and where and when they occur. Aside from the scientific opportunity the sharks bring with them, they're also creating a whole new kind of ecotourism. People looking to see or learn more about sharks. This isn't the man eating monster that maybe the movie Jaws painted it to be, and this isn't something that I need to fear all the time. As the end of the summer season sits just off the horizon, shark season is coming firmly into focus. Chris Conti, Scripps News, Chatham, Massachusetts.